Hey y'all, it's your girl Sinesha. Just wondering if y'all had a chance to check out Sorority Sisters uh, premiering on VH1 recently. It's about females, African American females, who are part of some of the um, Pan Hellenic sororities, um, like Delta Sigma Theta, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Sigma Gamma Rho, uh, Zeta Phi Beta, things of that nature. So we have a few females, uh, primarily all African American, except for one Caucasian American female. Um, <clears throat> here we have six of them that premiered, that were in the first premiere show. So we have Kat and she's a Sigma Gamma Rho and she happens to um, be a model and she modeled for one of April's um, events, shootique events at her boutique, House of, um, what was it, House of Couture. That's what April owns. So Kat was a model and, um, you know, her storyline hasn't developed yet, but she is just basically a model and a Sigma Gamma Rho. So, you know, moving on to Veronica. Veronica is a Zeta Phi Beta. She is actually a dancer or was a dancer, but her Achilles heel, Achilles tendon tore so she could no longer dance. But she went through rehabilitation and was able to come back and now she's stronger than ever and wanting to dance again, which is awesome. So she has a fiance back in Houston who is quite attractive, if I may say. And, you know, he's giving her a ring and he's having a conversation with her leaving the airport saying how he would really like for them not to be so far apart and find out if she's going to be able to come back, you know, to Houston and just teach classes. And she being a woman of trying to chase her dream, she's like, you know, I'm not coming home to Houston, getting fat and being pregnant and not chasing my dreams. So... You know, you're just going to have to kind of deal with it situation is what she basically told him. Now, um, April, April is a, um, a Alpha Kappa Alpha and she is um, nasty to say the least. <laughs> she basically is just really the epitome of what they say an Alpha Kappa Alpha is. She's sedity. Um, not saying that Alpha Kappa Alphas are this, but I'm just talking about the stereotype. She's Sadiddy and she owns House of Couture Boutique. So, you know, according to her, everyone is who is not an AKA is beneath her. And everyone who's not an AKA just basically doesn't deserve to exist. So even one night when she was having her event at her boutique and Kat mentioned that she was a Sigma Gamma Rho, you know, April made it, sh made it a point to say, you know, that the nickname for Sigma Gamma Rho's are Sigma Gamma Who's? because they were founded later than the AKA, later than the Deltas. But anyway, um, April, her attitude is very catty, very messy, you know, and her and another young lady in the group of young women don't get along. And ironically enough, they both uh, own boutiques. So the other young lady who April doesn't get along with, her name is Adrene and she's featured in the middle um, in the red, and she is a Delta Sigma Theta also. Um, her storyline is basically, she's the owner of House of a Dream, which is a, um, a boutique here in Atlanta also. And, you know, she's kind of snooty as well. You know, she says things like all other women should just bow down, you know, bow down bitches. And, you know, she's kind of snooty also. And I assume her hair is real. So, you know, I don't know. So she and April got into... An argument or a little um, cat fight because in a dreams boutique someone has come and put flyers in a dreams boutique advertising one of April's events um, the, sh the shootique event a dream didn't take too kindly to that so a dream showed up to April's event and in the middle of the event made an announcement that hey you guys you all can come over to my spot my boutique for this event that we have going on so basically they just you know, put the fire to the flame of a rivalry between House of a Dream and House of Tour. So, you know, Adreen is telling April the first rule of having a, a boutique that sells couture is to actually have couture items in it. I mean, they're basically just insulting one another. April brought a pink and green dress to the dress swap that uh, Adreen was having that she purchased from the thrift store for $5.95. So they basically were just being really, really petty, pitting themselves against one another. And I'm just like, okay, right. So we have Shayna, who was actually a Caucasian uh, woman, 
who's from Arkansas, and she's just the cutest little thing. She's just as country as cornbread, but she's actually a Delta Sigma Theta also. So she's coming to Atlanta and she seeks to get glammed up by Miss Veronica, who's an image consultant on her downtime from being a dancer. And, you know, she takes her to Stop Snob Life Boutique, Snob Life Salon, which is here in Atlanta, and gets her all glammed up um, and looking, I guess, sorority sister worthy. So, you know, she says she can um, side with African Americans and how we feel with regard to racism because she's always looked at funny by her sorority sisters or other people when she says that she's a Delta, which is a historically black um, sorority. So I don't know. Veronica didn't really like the way that sat with her, which is you'll never know how it feels to be black simply because you're white in a black sorority. So Veronica didn't really like when Shayna said that. But anyway, so we're getting Shayna together and so she can be just... Uh, of everything that she needs to do. So the last sorority sister, uh, Priyanka, she is also a Delta Sigma Theta. I can say the Delta Sigma Theta is really represented during this show. But anyway, um, she is, I don't know what she does for a living just yet, but she is ghetto. <laughs> she is ghetto beyond ghetto. I'm sorry, she's just ghetto. She, want, she ready to turn up, she ready to fight, she ready to be in the middle of everything. You know, and I'm just like... <laughs> And then she's always the main one saying sisterhood, sisterhood, sisterhood. I mean, the main one talking about sisterhood, sisterhood is also the main one that's ready to fight. So, um, lo and behold, it was an okay show, but I don't think it really represents sorority sisters the way it should. Tell me what you think.